Hi, blessed and delightful jewelry community. Welcome to this first jewelry design with Blender video in English. So, um, as some might know, I've been producing a lot of jewelry design videos, but in Spanish for the last couple of years. My name is Damien Rohrbach. Um, I'm jeweler and a jewelry designer and jewelry teacher for the last 20 years. Um, I started doing 3D when I was 10 years old and I started making jewelry when I was 20 years old. I created a jewelry school in 2006 in Mexico City and I've been teaching since then non-stop so I already have more than a thousand students I have clients all over the world and uh, for some contract reason I wasn't allowed to make videos in English because I do represent a very important 3D software for jewelry design, <clears throat> which is called 3Design. It's the name of the software, 3Design CAD Pro. Um, so I won't be making videos in English for 3Design because I'm simply not allowed, but which is okay because uh, I am the official representative here in Mexico. So, um, I do have uh, an important part uh, in promoting the software here in Mexico. But uh, I started using Blender uh, a couple of years ago. I've been using Blender a lot. I've been doing a lot of uh, tutorials in Spanish. Some might already know them. Uh, thank, uh, thanks for subscribing to the, to the channel. So, in this first video, uh, this video won't be for beginners, which is obviously surprising because it's the first video. But being the first video, I will just want to create a jewel um, to show what we can do. Obviously, it won't be too advanced either. I will be explaining a lot of things so you can follow the video and try to do it yourself. Um, but I'll really start from the basics uh, in the next video. So I hope you're gonna enjoy this video and um, well, let's get to it. So first things, first thing. So first, I'm going to import an STL of the of a diamond. So stones. Obviously, we won't have stones in Blender. One of my first rules is that I won't be using any add-on at all. Uh, there might be one exception, but if I do use an add-on, I will make it very clear. My goal is to show how to use Blender to create jewels without any funny stuff. Just with the, all the tools we already have. There's a, there are many, many add-ons for Blender, which is very cool. But, so, stones. I'll be teaching how to design the stones um, in, the sec in the third video. Uh, I'll be teaching how to make the materials, the renders, uh, step by step. But now I'm just going to import this uh, very classic shape around diamond, 58 facets. So I'm going to scale it to, okay, scales. <sighs> Blender comes uh, with uh some dimensions and here it says meters 
something we have noticed for 3D printing is that we don't have to care that much about if it's in meters, centimeters, millimeters, because when exporting the file, we can check the scale. The only important thing is that your model is really to scale, but re relatively to itself. So, for example, I'm going to put this diamond to two meters. And I'm just going to copy and paste the scale for the C scale here. So now I can say that this diamond is either two meters, two centimeters, or two millimeters. For the entire series, I will consider that meters are millimeters, the entire series. So this is something you need to know. And we won't have any trouble exporting and printing the files. I will talk about that in the other videos because obviously I, I will be explaining everything. Just uh, And why I do it? Well, it's my, this is my legacy, just that. Because I've been teaching for so long to so many people. Uh, I do live from 3D modeling uh, and jewelry making and teaching uh, quite well. So I decided that because Blender is so good, Blender deserves to, to be used, to be promoted. Um, and like this in a very good, mu uh, very good movie, I do it because I can. So let's continue. Okay, I'm going to save the file just for, let me save this file here, video one, video one. Okay, let's save here. Okay, we're good. So now we have many things to do. Uh, so generally my videos are real time. I do not edit much or I try to avoid editing. Not, not because I can't, just because I one spare time for more important things than editing videos. So I just record them and then publish them. So they're usually quite long, sometimes because I talk a lot, but generally when I talk, it's to say important things or useful things. All right, let's add a cube. I'm gonna move the diamond in the new, I'm using, okay, let's set the origin to geometry here. Uh, I'm using the la uh, the latest uh, latest uh, version of Blender, which is uh, the 290. Uh, it's very stable. It's very good. So I don't. Uh, I'm not uh, worried about using the later the latest version. You shouldn't either. All right. So my diamond is just here for reference. Okay. To scale things, we can use the S key, which is for scale. I'll see to activate the transparency here. And uh, I'm going to make the, the setting for this stone. Okay, let's go to edit mode. So th that's the tab key, which is the shortcut. Okay, I'm going to phase mode. Uh, there's shortcuts for everything in Blender. You can uh, use uh, one, two, three for the vertex edge or phase mode. But there's also a lot of icons in the new interface of Blender, so it's just a matter of preference. And you can also set all kinds of shortcuts for your own uh, taste. Okay, let's hit let's hit the I key. I E I. <laughs> no, yes I the I key for an inset. Let's make it smaller with the S key. Okay, let's start modeling. So we're going to make the setting, the E key to extrude downwards. Let's see the L C to see the transparency again. All right, let's start with something like this. Okay, we, with the shift key, I'm going to select these. Uh, Am I? No, I'm going to select those. So when I start making the videos, they're live. So it means I'm not 
I generally don't prepare videos. I know what I'm, I want to do in the video, but I've, I haven't rehearsed it. It means that sometimes I'm also discovering things while doing them. So sometimes I do mistakes, but every time I do a mistake, I'll explain it. So, okay, have something like this. We're going to, okay, let's go out of edit mode. I'm going to add a cube. So now the cube, let's center it again because I moved the 3D cursor there. All right, we're going to change the scale. With the S key, I can hit Y and S and X again to scale in the different uh, directions. Yes, Y. Here, let's make a copy. Shift D, Enter. I'm going to rotate 90 degrees like this. Okay, now this the cube. So with the right, I'm still using the right selection mode, which is very special in Blender, but I really love that. Okay, we're going to make a difference with this one. Another Boolean of difference with this one. And now I can hide, let's hide this one and this one. I'm going to keep them. Okay, we have this, which is pretty good, except that we have, we have some missing faces. Okay, that doesn't matter much. Okay, we're going to convert to mesh, which is out C as a normal shortcut and go to edit mode again. I'm going to go to the vertex mode and fix the missing parts. Okay, so I'm going to, do, 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 let's, hmm, which ones? Let's select those with shift F key to close the face. These on that side. The Boolean came out with uh, some missing faces. That's okay. We can we can fix that pretty fast. Those one F key, the shift key here, F. This one here, and F. All right, this is a good starter. So we have the setting here. Obviously, we need to make a cutter then for the diamond. Um. Okay, I'm going to create a cutter. So I'm going to add a mesh. Uh, it's going to be a cylinder. I'm going to center the cylinder here. Pick it up again. Now I'm going to make the cutter for the stone. Uh, to move the view with the numpad, it's very easy. Seven is top view, one is front view, three is side view, which is very practical in Blender. Okay, edit mode. Alt A to deselect everything, B to select box, E to extrude. Let's move this here to make it like this. E again. I'm going to make this a bit bigger like this. Now Alt A, B, E, S, E. Let's see to check the view. We're good. Okay, this is the cutter. So now this is going to get a boolean of difference with this. We're going to hide this. We're going to hide the stone to check that this time we have a perfect boolean. Okay, there are a couple of weird things. Let's go to edit mode with this guy. Okay, well, this is pretty good anyway. This doesn't matter much. Okay, I'm going to change. I'm going to try something. I'm going to select these faces with shift key. I'm going to go up, go out to check. Okay, this, that's cleaner, that's, that's good enough. Okay, so we have this now. Let's make the alt C to make it the mesh. And um, so, 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 okay, this is, this is 
pretty good. So now it needs to be a bit smaller because it needs to overlap the stone a bit to set the stone later. Uh, something important to know, we're always, there's two ways of preparing the design. One for printing, which means that if I want to manufacture this jewel, I need, I would, well, almost every jeweler would ask you to have the prongs way higher, something like that. Because the jewelers, the, the stone setter generally wants more metal to to make to make the setting work which is very logical very normal but if you want then to make the render you need to change the model to make it look good in the render because in the render you want to show the finished jewel okay and that's generally time consuming because you need to prepare it for printing with the excess of sizes, higher, thicker, bigger, different sizes for the settings, especially. And then you need to prepare it for the render. So what I generally do, because I do manufacture a lot, so I know my numbers. And I, also because I make my own jewels, the only process I generally don't do myself is the casting. Uh, I send it to, to, to people to make it, to make it very good and faster. It's very time consuming, so I don't really care doing my own casting. I have the machinery to do it, but I don't even like doing it. I prefer to, to design, uh, set the stone, polish, finish the jewel and make all the process. The casting is better to send it somewhere else. Okay. I do the 3D printing myself. Uh, quite a lot and molds also I, I quite enjoy making the molds so when what I do is I generally take a halfway solution I make the settings a bit higher than it would look at the end because this setting at the end would be even a bit lower it would be somewhere here after pushing the metal on the stone and finish uh, setting every stone but I'm going to make it the way I did it, like this. It's a bit higher, but that's enough to make the job well, to, to make it, to finish the jewel in gold or whatever metal we, the client wants. So it's a bit higher than the finished work, but it's going to be, look good directly in the render. It's going to look pretty. And it will also be already ready for 3D printing. So I'll just have to export the file in STL, STL format or object format. Uh, any of those are good. So, okay, let's go. So now, now we're going to create a circle. So there are many types, well, there are two types of circle. We're going to use a Bezier circle. We're going to center it. I'll interview and the size is going to be 9.1. Ah, sorry, I hit the busy curve. We need busy circle view. 91 centered. Here we go. Okay, why 91? So if uh okay, because we don't have any jewelry specially specialized tools in Blender. Well, there's an add-on. There's a very famous add-on, which obviously a lot of people tend me to use. And I already explained that I don't use any add-on because it's not necessary. That's what I came to show. I already succeeded to explain uh, to uh, that in Spanish. So I'm going to explain that in English. I'm going to show it. It's one of the goals of this series that we can design very high jewelry, very complex jewelry in Blender just using Blender. All right, so you just hit ring size chart if needed. You go to images, you just check uh, maybe two or three different to check the numbers. Just go there. So let's see here we have 18.2 millimeters. Half is 9.1. 9.1. I'm going to design a uh, size 8 American size uh in mexico 
actually almost the entire American continent from Canada to Patagonia is using the American standard, which is um, easier because it's a, it's a standard. There are many standards. There's the Japanese, there's the English, there's the French, there's the Swiss standard, there's the American standard. Uh, and I think that there are more than that actually. And every standard have different uh, measurements for the fingers, which is always a problem. But just so you know, I'm using the American standard anyway, because that's the way we work also in Mexico. And all my clients almost uh, ask me American sizes. All right, so that's why I did 9.1. Okay, now we're going to take this guy. We're going to make an array we're going to put in any number here like 24. Then we are going to add a curve modifier and the curve is going to be the circle. Okay, so now, the there's a small gap. So I have a couple of options to solve that. I can make the setting a bit smaller or I can make the ring a bit smaller. I'm going to make the ring a bit smaller. So we're going to, okay, here I'm very close to the, to the number. So I'm going to put it numerically 80, mm, which should be a bit smaller, 86. I know, sorry, 88, a bit bigger. So 88 is too big, 87 is too big, 87, 5, 87, 7, perfect. I'm going to copy this number here. So obviously there's an overlap right there. I'm going to save. So we have an overlap there, but that's okay. So now I'm going to shift D and copy this guy. I'm going to hide the original. I do that a lot to protect the work because if I have a problem later on, I will always duplicate the meshes at any step during the process because if something went wrong and I need to change something, I'm just copying at every, sometimes at, at every step and make a duplicate. There are other ways to do that, but my way is very simple. It's very fast, it's very useful. So that's why I teach like that. Okay, here we can change the name. Let's say ring for once. Because now I'm going to change that to mesh. So I'll see now it's the entire mesh. I'm going to hit A to select everything. Alt M, uh, no, sorry, just M key by distance and we can see that the software removed quite some vertices that were overlapping. Okay, so this is one part of the ring. Um, I'm going to add a subdivision surface. Ah, this guy is overlapping, that's bad. Oh, that's weird, didn't do it. Okay, so we have a weird overlap here. So I'm going to edit mode. And we need to, let's say we're going to select, I'll see, I'm going to select, uh, I think the overlap is here, or the gap is rather a gap than an overlap. I'm going to try with bridge uh, edge loops. Let's try again the subdivision surface. Okay, problem solved. Now let's go at two, three. Okay, at three, and we're pretty good. All right. Let's hit smooth shading. That's kind of funky shading. Okay, I'm going to see what face orientation. Okay, we do have what what's in red okay that's what's making the that's what's make ah but b 
because we do have overlaps all over the place. Ah, too bad. Okay, I'm going to try something special. Bridge. I don't know if it. Would. No, it doesn't want to do that. Let's do this. Okay, I'm going to Alt A. I'm going to select every. This is a mistake, but I'm going to correct it. Okay, and there's no more overlap. Okay, we're good. I'm going to leave it like this. Now, I'm going to remove the face orientation here. I'm going to apply. Am I going to apply? No, not yet. Okay, let's move the stone into place. Okay, we have this. Okay, I want I want to see if I can do that a bit differently. This guy is here. I'm going to remove Well, first, I'm going to edit this guy. I'm going to remove. I'm going to change the design a bit. Okay, let's hide. So I came back to the duplicate I made before. That's why I did it. Because there's something I don't like. I'm going to change this. Uh, D to Shift D to duplicate this, make it smaller. And then bigger on the X. Oh, sorry, you know what? Wrong. I'm going to extrude it. I'm going to make it smaller than SX to make it bigger in this direction. So I'm going to move it here. All right. I think it's going to be good. Should look better. Okay, now we're going to remove the faces, these two faces. Okay, now let's show the modifiers again. We're going to get that and that. So the size might or might not be the same. Actually, it's the same. Okay. So let's make a copy. Hide the original, make this guy a mesh, go to edit mode, A, I know there's, there we can see there are a lot of overlapping, okay, A, shift, okay, let's go to mesh, merge by distance, yeah, but didn't remove the other faces. So we have a problem with this guy. Let's erase this guy again. We need way less. Okay, 19. And let's make the ring a bit smaller again or bigger. I'll make it, okay. Let's go at uh, 119, 117, oh, 117, 175, uh, two, three, okay. It should be good. Now, Shift D, hide the original. Okay, let's go. Let's make the mesh. Let's check the size. Let's see if I can make it size eight again and still fit the stone at the same size. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, let's go to edit mode A. Uh, merge by distance. And let's see if we're solid with the subdivision. Okay, this is better than before. This way. 
I did that. Okay, shades smooth. Now let's go check the settings. I need to flip the ring. 180 here. And let's locate the diamond, please. Where's the diamond? Oh, it's right there. Okay, so I made the ring bigger, but it's too big now for a proper setting. So I'm going to make it smaller again. It's going to be a seven and a half. All right. Okay, we are here. It's pretty good. That part is a bit broken. Let's check something. Maybe the two. Hmm. That part breaks. Hmm. I'll do a remesh later. Let's keep it like this. Looks good enough for the purpose. Okay. Let's do a Control A on the stone. All transforms. Let's uh, create a cube right there now let's put an array with object offset to the cube the cube is gonna rotate uh, 12 uh, 5 uh, no no wait 24 no how many stones? i don't even know how many stones we have 18 80 degrees 20 degrees 90 degrees Okay, maybe 19. So I don't even know how many. I think nine, 19. Okay, we'll check that. Okay, so it's going to be 19. Okay, that's. So now it's a 360 divided by 90 degrees. 19. That's 18. Yeah, that's not a very common number for a division. And jewelry, so the cube needs these guys at zero. 1895. We're good. Thank you. Here. Okay, so that's one part of the ring. Let's create a material at once. Let's just call it diamond. Um, this also new material let's call it gold we'll do the render later okay but that's not all i want to do let's move this a bit here let's go at five here and there let's go uh, let me check something that's weird a all transforms. Set origin to geometry again. Five. This guy should be zero. This guy should be zero also. Okay. Now let's but let's go at four. With everybody at four. Okay, these guys shift D enter. And let's go at to uh, minus four with these also every object must be moved uh, numerically um, separately okay these are some sides of the the, 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 the rings i i want to make a type of cross okay so something looks bad uh on the inside of the cut there there's a remesher in the since Blender 280 some. Let's put, uh, let's put the voxel size at 03 maybe and let's start with the voxel remesh and let's see if it cleans up that bad looking part. Okay, so we have a lot to do. Sometimes I could talk about some other things, but today I won't, I guess. Maybe later. Pom, pom, pom. The only bad thing about remeshing with the voxel is that we're, we're going to have a face count that's going to be about a couple of millions. 
um, maybe I should use a bigger size. That's way too slow. I need to wait though. Okay, that's crazy. That's way crazy. Ah, but let's undo that. But that's very interesting. That's very interesting because this guy has. Let me remove that. Let me go to. I undid the remeshing because I. I didn't knew that I still had the, let's just do a normal auto smooth here. That's already pretty, that's actually it's prettier. Okay, so I'm going to try something different. Let's just try to bevel this, this guy. No, it's too sharp to bevel. All right. But anyway, I will do the render with cycles and cycles has a beveling node that works very well so what i'm going to do is remove the subdivision and just make the auto smooth the normal auto smooth so i'm going to do it like this so now i'm just going to create a, a tube but i'm going to, to use the the cylinder here Let's center this guy. Let's use uh, 62. Let's put it facing to view. I'm going to make it bigger. First, just on the inside, something like this. Um, let's make it S Y fit the ring there, like if it was soldered there. Okay, now let's make a copy, shift D, let's make it smaller. Okay, this one must be, well, I'm way crazy, stop. Let's go to edit mode, let's take phase, let's take this phase and this phase, suppress the faces. Now let's take everybody there and let's make an extrusion E enter S to have some thickness there. Let's go out of edit mode. Let's just hide this guy for a second. Okay, that's pretty good. I just want an inside ring. Okay, with the control key, I'm going to select all the way around there. This is too too big. I'm going to make it thinner here. Something like this. Okay. A, I'm going to make it very close to the ring size. Even maybe I'm going to make it there. Okay, that's good. Let's unhide. Who was it? Q5, okay. Let's go out there. So I want to make a type of cross that's going to go around the ring. And I'm, I want to make, uh, this model is more uh, of uh, the contemporary type, which means that I want to use um, marble blocks, very small marble blocks on the inside. You can see that. Okay, so. Uh, let's go with smooth here. Choop. Let's use the auto smooth here. Okay, we're pretty good there. Let's just put some names there. Setting side one. Setting side two. Okay, we're good. All right, so let's design the cross. Let's add a plane. I'm going to center it. Okay, I'm going to move it up. I'm going to make it smaller. I'm going to move it somewhere here. Somewhere there. Okay, let's go to edit mode. Let's go to vertices. Tuk, tuk. E click. Oh, wait. So every time I'm just going to extrude.
now with control to make a new point F to close this okay this time I'm going to subdivide it So it turns the G key to grab and move. Okay, I'm going to do the same here. F key. Okay. Now, uh, let's come here. Okay, now we're going to add a mirror key, a mirror modifier based on the ring in X and Y. Uh, X and Z then. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's activate the clipping, which means now that if I take these guys and move them here, it's going to clip right there. And let's take these guys and G them right there. Let's correct this for a while. Okay, this will have to be thicker. Something like this. Okay, let's make an extrusion right here to make another tip here. I still want that to go thicker here. All right. And you know what? I prefer that side. Three points. Okay, so let's kill this vertex and make just this guy like the other tip. Something like this. All right. Now, 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 now. Okay, we have this. This is already pretty good. Let's make a shift D to copy it. Hide this one. Name this one cross. Make an Alt C to make it mesh. Now, let's take all these guys except this, the C key with shift to remove these guys. Shift D to copy that. R to rotate 90 degrees. Now, we're going to make these faces just to close the gap right here with the shift key every quad we just create the face with the F key now okay I still going to copy it as shift D because I don't know the design yet so let's go to edit mode on the copy let's hit A E to extrude that let's move up and I want to make it smaller, but then we're gonna. Mm, let me see, that looks very good. Let's make the subdivision here. Let's see a couple more. Okay, that's interesting. That's quite interesting. Let's make it smooth. This is going to be gold. Uh, let's go to edit mode again. What we could try is another extrusion. Take it up, make it smaller. Okay, I'm liking this. Okay, let's make a copy because I'm going to sculpt mode, I think. Let's make it mesh. Let's go to sculpt normal mode. Let's, let me just check. Let's do it. Control A, all transformation. Let's save this and let's go to sculpt mode. Let's go with X and Y. Let's use the dino top here. Let's put it a two and let's start maybe with the shift key I'm going to Soften that. Now I want to
just make a couple details here. All right, so let's just keep scouting. This is just because I love to experiment why why I, I do the while I I'm making the videos. Uh, sorry, my English will be a bit rusty, uh, and also my French accent is going to show. I'm not French. I'm from Switzerland. If you wonder, actually. Uh, I was born in Switzerland. I, I've been living in Mexico for the last 16 years. Uh, my mother is Mexican, so that's, well, why I came to Mexico, this is uh, something I've, people ask me every day. This is the most boring question for me. I just came to Mexico because that's life. There's okay, let's make this flat part. So the sculpting tools in Blender are very efficient. I don't know why people keep saying that they don't work. Or I think they, they, they stop. They're, they're making such a good work with Blender on many aspects that, uh, well, people just should uh, get to work instead of saying it doesn't work. I mean, okay, let's have this, this, this. Okay, let's let's make something. Ah, uh, but you know why? <laughs> I forgot. But anyway, in the center, I'm going to put a stone, so I don't really care what happened. I have to, I forgot that it wouldn't come to the other axis, that's my bad. But anyway, I'll use a trick to correct that. All right, we have this, is this pretty? It's pretty good enough. That doesn't mean I'm going to make the the final design like this but i really like to try some aesthetics while making the tutorials all right uh this is pretty cool so here in the middle I, i'm going to put another stone in a in a bezel setting is that good enough okay let's try to remove this so with the control key you can can go directly from add to remove let's see if that's better is that better is that better that's cool enough let's carve a bit more here All right, um, uh, let's put another. Okay, that's pretty good. So the other side, I forgot. I really don't care. Why? Because let's go to this side, Alt-A to remove everybody. Now we're going to make something crazy, but that's the way it works. Okay, B. <laughs> B, let's take these guys. B, let's take these guys. Suppress the vertices. Oh, I wasn't, wait, wait, wait a second. No, that's, that's not the crazy thing I want to do. I thought the transparency, Alt C, which is a transparency must be activated, obviously. Just forget it uh, sometimes. Okay, let's suppress these guys. So, okay, let's try just to sh uh, copy this, shift uh, D and 90 degrees. We got this, we can make this a bit smaller. No, don't. Okay, we're going to try a Boolean of 
union between that and that. Okay, that's what we get. That's pretty good. Let's make apply. Let's say problem solved. Um, let's go to edit mode. A. Shift. Oh, who's the guy? M by distance. He removed the. Yeah, it still looks the same, but that's good. Okay, now this we're going to rotate 45 degrees. Let's remove this guy. So now this, this I want to be a bit smaller here. And let's put the center to geometry right there. I want this to be a bit higher here. Okay, let's do a control A all transforms. Let's make a simple deform band. Um, bum, 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 bum. Okay. Now let's open the filters, activate the render filter also, because what we hide, we don't want to be rendered. These guys, okay, so that guy, the cylinder, which is, okay, let's remove all these guys. We're quite good. Now let's create a cube in the center. Okay, the deformation, let's ask that the bending is from the cube axis. Um, we want a band, let's see if, okay. Now, the direction is obviously wrong, let's flip the cube, because now the cube is the reference okay now it's starting to work what i want is the curve of the ring for that element we can see that the bending is quite good that depends on the orientation and position of the cube so let's make it somewhere there okay let's put it numerically here nine so the y direction, let's put minus five. I want to see if I can get this to be square. Let's go at six here and six here. Okay, it's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's make it mesh so we can forget about the cube now. Let's put it a bit higher. Let's say somewhere here. Now, this guy is too thin. Let's select the outer faces all around with the control key. So just the outside faces hit S. Let's say we're going to put it there. Obviously, if I go here, it's going, it's gone wider. So let's do an S Y. Just correct that a bit. Okay. Uh, okay. I want another diamond. So let's take uh, one of the diamonds. Alt A, Alt key, Shift D to copy, P to separate. Just went and separated one of the diamonds. Where is okay? Let's put that to the origin geometry here. Let's center the this diamond. Let's put it up here. Mm, this guy is going to be a bit smaller. One five. Let's copy and paste the scale here. Okay, now let's make a bezel for this guy. So a good way to make a bezel is just Okay, shift S cursor to select it right there. Add a torus. Now the torus needs to be a bit smaller than the to overlap the stone a bit. Let's make an S Y to make it bigger like that. Is it smooth? 
is going to be gold. And let's uh, put a downer there so you can see the, the bezel overlaps the stone a bit. Now this is still too big. So let's go at 125 here. Perfect. Let's put it right there. Just let me check that the tip of the stone isn't in the metal. That would be this. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, now, this guy already has the diamond material. They're not set yet, but we'll do that later. Okay, this, this, and that. Control J to make it one single mesh. Let's do Control A, all transforms. Now, let's put an array modifier. Uh, let's put it like eight times. Let's create a uh, mesh. Let's create a cube in the center. Let's make this from the offset object. Uncheck, check. Uncheck that. It's a bit slow because that object, I think, is a lot heavier. Let's start rotating the cube. So actually, this is going to be uh, 45 degrees because I've used um, eight copies. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I kind of like that design. All right. Um, what else? What else? What else? Let's make... Okay, so like I was saying, that's gold and diamonds or whatever kind of gemstone or synthetic like CZ or whatever you want to use. Uh, my models I do in silver, gold or copper or brass or whatever we, uh, we want. Depends the market, depends the client. Right, so <laughs> okay, but on the inside, I want small marble cubes or squares or whatever. So let's make the pattern, and to fit them, they must be able to pass there just like a puzzle. Because all my designs are designed to be really manufactured. All the sizes of the stones, of the thicknesses, wise, all of that is real. Because obviously that's a very important part of, the, of this channel. That's why it's always growing. Because my designs, they, they work and they can be printed and they can be casted and they can be made by jewelers. All around the world so that's the fun part of doing this that's why i do it because we're also here for fun we're here to make money and we're here to have fun that's life all right work hard party hard now my blocks so what do you have this guy i, I can i know i couldn't <laughs> sorry i need to make this a mesh i'll see now i can remove the cube Got this guy, yeah. Uh, generally, I don't really care about the mesh count. Uh, we can have statistics here. Let's see how many millions. Yeah, we're already at five millions. That, that's heavy. Okay, generally in our industry, the the face count might be very high. It's not much of a problem for uh, the printers. And anyway, the, the model can be decimated to make it lighter. It works very well. So uh, I don't really care about the face count when modeling. I just model, I just design the jewel. Then I check the face count. This one is pretty high. Then it's bad for the render or if you want to make an animation, you really need to take the face count down uh, if you're not using a render farm 
for the animation for one single shot it won't be a trouble for the graphic cards uh, even on old graphic cards i mean a couple years back if you have enough ram and a good graphic card and good cpu you have no problems with uh, cycles it's really fast but uh yeah the face count that's okay for now all right so let's go now let's create let's create a cube mesh uh mesh cube so this guy is ah uh, well there are I could just do a texture, just a cylinder on the inside and use a texture to make what I'm what I want to make because visually it will work. But that's not my plan. I'm going to make every single square to to see how it fits, just like if that would be real stone in real life. Because that's a way to to see what's coming when manufacturing the jewel. So I won't be using a, a texture, and also because it's going to look very differently if I make every cube separately with the bending and the positioning and all, and also because it's going to look prettier. So let's first find the C size. Z, Z size, Z size. All right. Mm. So something like this. No, this is too much. Let's hit. Okay, guys, here. <laughs> Z. Okay, it might touch on the bottom, but not the top. Let's make it like this. Okay. Now I need to bend this guy a bit. So let's make it, uh, no, wait. I'm going to subdivide it. This should be enough. Also this guy, I'm going to, wait, put a, mo a bevel modifier right here. Let's put three times. Uh, let's make it smooth. This is, oh, this is crazy. Okay, that's corrected. All right, now let's do the bending. Control A, all transforms. Let's create a new cube for the deformation. Let's center this guy. All right, so this guy is going to have, okay, let's make the Alt C to apply the bevel. Okay, now to, to, to simple deform, bending from the cube. Um, Let's put in the Z axis. All right, let's rotate this guy 90 degrees here. Okay, that's that's what I want actually. Now, let's just move the cube higher and put the modifier like at 40, 30. Okay, this is pretty good. This is quite correct. Now, still too much. Let's put 25. Okay, now the cube, I'm going to move downer because I do want some kind of small rectangles, uh, marble rectangles like that. Oh, and so the width, the width, I haven't checked that. It doesn't matter for now. Okay, uh, we're going to make a pattern. So I'm just going to... Make it mesh. I can remove the cube now. No, this is wrong. I'm going to tell you why later. I'm going to undo that. Control Z. I won't apply nothing at all. Okay, now I'm just going to do a Shift D. I'm going to rotate this. Oh wow, I can't rotate that. Uh, okay, this guy. I know this guy. I can't wait. Mm, let's copy this cube because I want another bending for the second element. Okay, so this element is going to use the other cube. Okay, perfect. Because I want some shorter elements. That's why I'm doing this. So now the second element, I am going to make it mesh. 
Now I'm going to rotate it a couple of grades there, just uh, so it follows the first element. Okay, 17. This is perfect. Okay, I'm just going to set the element marble, marble here. It's going to be the same for everybody, I guess. I don't really care. All right. So that's what I wanted. Let's make this Alt C. Okay, let's remove these guys. Now we can re we can copy this. Shift D. R Y just to rotate on the Y axis. Okay, that element is not okay. That one is a bit wrong. Too bad. Okay, let's let's go back and do and do and do. I need to go back sometimes when you get something wrong, you need to go back and correct it. That's called wisdom. So let's be wise and go back. So we're not presumptive. Choose. Let's be humble and make good decisions. When you see something wrong, you must correct it. Your mind, it's your option, it's your choice. Well, generally, even if I find it hard sometimes, I need to undo all that. to when I applied. That's what happens when you don't save. Okay, but that one should be. All right, we should be good. This is the element. Well, I'll keep modifiers, please. <laughs> Um, based on the cube. Okay, perfect. Let's go back there. Even if we might get lost, let's have a front view. Let's hide this. Uh, let's hide that. Let's hide this. All right, here we are. Okay, so position of that cube. I want the smaller element. And then must continue that. Okay, so now I'm going to check, make the Alt C just once, rotate and see if I have the continuity. Okay, I don't, but then the problem is rather this one. There and less, less bending. Um, it's also the size, so. I could use a Boolean key or go to edit mode and do a tapper kind of thing. Or just do an X, S, X. But that's wrong. Is that wrong? No, I guess not. That might be right. Okay, let's say I'm going there. I could try to correct that guy just a bit on the S X. I just want to make this a bit better. So okay, so twenty two, not twenty seven. What was that? Sometimes part of the process get a bit weirdo. Okay. Okay, that's too bad.
Okay, so it needs to be wider here, thinner, and let's put this guy like less. Now this guy, let's go at scale one one. That's a bit better. It's not exactly what I want. It's okay, twenty one. Okay, this is almost good that's flipping because but that's a bug <laughs> that, that's a bug because suddenly the cube flips all right just don't flip this is something very easy and sometimes it fails just because things must fail during tutorials you know murphy's law Okay, from the top. Okay, so this this is good enough for me. All right, I'll see. I'll see. Let's remove the cube. Sorry for the inconvenience. Okay, let's show these guys again. We're good. Okay. Now, I might do an array, but I think I won't. I'm going to... Copy these guys and rotate them R Y because I want them to shift D S Y. No, I said okay R Y. <laughs> I want some pattern. I don't want it to be too repetitive. Shift D S Y. No R Y. R Y. There you go. Saving from time to time. So we got two, one, two. Uh, Shift D, R Y. Let's move it right here. R Y. Shift D, enter R Y. Okay, now let's take the entire, let's take that with Shift. Shift D, R, Y, R, Y. R, Y, let's put it right here. Let's see how we're going. Fine, I guess. Okay, Shift D, R, Y. Well, it's repetitive now, but not so much. Let's say we're going to put more of these guys. Okay, let's make a shift D R Y. Move it. Let's put four shift D R Y. Okay, and shift D. RY, let's go this way. Okay, now the fitting, we're going to make a smaller guy of these. So, Shift D, obviously changing the size S, X. Okay, let's set the geometry there. S, X isn't really um, correct. I don't care because I just want to fit this guy. No, actually, it won't work like that. Okay, I have another idea. Um, doop, 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 doop. Well, we just can't design it. I mean, let's go to this view. Let's hide this and hide that. Let's hide all these guys for a second. All right, so RY. Now, we're going to come here, add a mesh plane to the view. Well, actually, I could have done that since the beginning. For just, uh, let's go here, front view, 
edit mode. Let's put that into position, Alt Z. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, now we're going to subdivide this a couple of times just to make this work like that. Make the small element AE. W. Okay, this must go here. Get it right here. All right. Okay, let's go out here. Alt C. Let's make a bevel. Uh, let's make it three times. Size is correct, I think. Uh, shade smooth. It's going to be marbles. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, that's no problem. Let's take the cube there with the shift key. It's going to select all that. This too. Let's make L Alt C, Control J. Okay. So now that's just one mesh. Make a new material. It's that's because I I went back. I forgot that I didn't have the material the way I wanted. Okay, let's put this guy here. Now let's show this guy. Okay. Now let's make a copy once. Let's make R Y. Oh no, sorry. Let's make origin to. Let's make a control A, all transforms. R, Y, let's go somewhere here. Shift D, let's move it here. R, Y. All right, now these guys, control J. Uh, control A, all transforms. S, Y. and put it centered. Okay, these are my small blocks. There's just one thing I didn't check at the end is if they fit or not. That's quite funny. I don't think they fit, which is ironical. It looks pretty. Okay, where are the crosses? Where are the crosses? That's crazy. Where are the crosses? Ah, okay, might be diamonds. Okay. Cross with diamond. There we go. I know the do fit. Perfect. It just must be able to enter because the last blocks that must be able to enter to fit the small marbles between the crosses. Okay, so this is the design. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, so the, the video froze <laughs> a while back. I just noticed that, no matter. Okay, so that's the design. We still have time to make the render. So let's make a simple render. I won't make it too fancy today. Okay, let's add a mesh. Let's put a plane right there. Let's make it to here. Let's make it big. Let's bring it here. Now let's go for an HDR environment. I know it's on the left side now, which is pretty cool. All right. Um, question is, Okay, open, open, um, let's find an image, any kind of image, let's use uh, this one maybe. Okay, so let's load an HDR image, obviously. Okay, let's go to cycles, GPU, yep, so performance 512, yep. Now. Render 250. Um, what do we need to check? Okay, 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 okay. 
Um, let's make a preview. Let's remove the overlaps. Okay. We don't have... Uh, oh, the light's pretty good. We could rotate that maybe. Okay, I'm going to do a couple of things. First, the ring. I'm going to rotate everybody. I'm going to rotate everybody. So, except the, the plane. Thanks. Okay, let's go there. It should be minus 22.5. Right. Oh, what did I forget? Ah, yeah, the inside. The inside doesn't matter. Rotation, I'm lucky. Right. Let's say we're going to go here. All right. Let's move it like this. Okay, now the camera. Okay, let's say here. Alt control zero. Now let's take the camera here. Camera, let's put this at a uh, huge number here. Now the resolution is, is good. Normal HD render. Let's uh, have a preview here. Okay, let's go to shading. Now the materials, I'm gonna start with uh, gold. Now first I'm going to rotate the world image. So I'm going to add a texture coordinate. I'm going to add a vector mapping. I'm going to rotate it to this guy. Let's see. Oh, that's too much. That's already better. Okay. Okay, that's good. Maybe go back here at zero. Okay, that's pretty good. Now. This guy, let's go back to object. This is gold, so let's make it gold. It, the color is always depending on the on the sur on the surroundings. So, well, let's make it metallic at one roughness at o five. Okay, now it's peculiar at one. Okay, now, okay, this guy should also be cold. Okay. Now let's add a bevel. The bevel is to make the edges soft in the render. It's going to look way better here. Okay, let's make it a point two at point. 35 let's put 10 samples okay it's pretty cool okay i don't like ah but wait 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 oh that's okay i don't like the edge the hdr i'm going to change my let's put this maybe Okay, that's way better. Maybe remove the rotation. I want to check it. All right, that's good. Okay, that's way better. All right, now the diamonds. The diamonds. Let's make it simple. I won't put dispersion. Doesn't really matter here. Okay, so specular at one, roughness at zero. Are you are at two forty three? Transmission of one. Okay, what helps is to change the light path at something like 40. Let's put everybody at 40 here. 40, 40, 40, 40. It's uh, slower, but the, the refraction works way better. Okay, now this is too big. Let's put 0.2, I guess. Yeah, that looks better. 
That looks nice. 15. All right. So we just need to... Okay, this guy I'm going to create also a floor material to make it uh, a bit bouncy. Metallic at dot five, roughness at dot two. Okay, we have a light source, obviously the original light source. Let's move it uh, wherever here. No, maybe here. Let's move it here. Okay, now let's make. I ah, know you don't want. Well, we'll see. Okay, now the image. Let's make. Wait, it's a point. That's good. Let's make it three. But let's put a crazy power there. Uh, well, crazy more. Okay, use nodes and change the strength that 62 maybe. Okay, that's way too strong or not. All right, let's move it a bit. Not so far there. Further there. Uh, not so far there. A bit down here. Not so far here. That's pretty cool. Now the size is make sharper shadows. Okay, we get this. Okay, uh, what else? Okay, these stones, I'm going to make them different tourmalines. These are going to be pink, I guess. I know, you know what? Amethysts. Put that let's put an IOR of one eight. Okay, not so pinkish, a bit more there, and not so strong. That's pretty nice. Okay, uh these guys also we're going to change that. The name doesn't matter, but let's say amethyst just to have the right name. So let's put the IOR at 165, which is kind of realistic. Okay, now the marble, we're going to need a UV map for that. So let's go to UV editing, select everything. Let's use a cube projection. That's good enough. Let's go to shading. Okay, we need to create the marble. So add an input, uh, add an image texture. Let's put it right in here. Ooh, come on. Okay, let's uh, I'll find a marble. Uh, I do have a nice picture around here. Where is it? Okay, I know. Uh, rock, rock, rock scene. No, wrong. No, no, wrong. Where is that image? I think. Mm, I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay, I'm going to put any kind of uh, white stone, like a marble like uh, this okay this is pretty good uh now metallic like at point, point 0.5 roughness at point 0.2 now it's too there's too much light but let's anyway let's put an input texture i oh, know wrong <laughs> let's put a uv uv map let's put the uv map plugged in here that's our UV map here. Okay. Well, which gives the same, but that's for uh, precision sake. Okay. Now let's put uh, color brightness. So we're too bright. And anyway, I'm going to change the blocks. Okay, that's pretty good. So let's lower the contrast also. something like that what i don't like so put a color uh, such you you so that you let's go at something redder not that much not so much pinkish let's saturate at 75 okay that's pretty now we have i want several colors different lighter ones darker ones so let's go to edit mode let's go to normal view okay now let's say out a let's pick some guys there with the L key uh, 
Uh, let's hide the plane for. Oh, sorry. I don't want that one. Which one is that plane? Ah, this guy. Perfect. <laughs> let's keep on selecting some. Some blocks. There's okay. That's good. Okay, that's perfect. Now let's go here. Let's duplicate the material marble. Let's make an assign. Let's make it darker. Just the name for now. Okay, let's make this select. Select just checked it didn't work. Ah, but because I was wrong, because I just replaced the same material, let's make add. Let's put these guys with marble. Okay, so let's make a control Y, make a sign. Control Y, assign the other one. Let's say the select, let's say select. Okay, the select, select. Okay, this the assignment is good. Now let's hide these guys with the, the H key. Now let's take another couple of guys uh, to make them lighter. Here to there. Just something like that. Okay, now let's make a plus. Let's let's assign marble. Let's duplicate it. Let's put a sign. Let's say lighter. Even if it won't specially like okay, so let's select select. We're good. Alt H to show everybody. Okay, now we can make, let's go out of edit mode. Let's go back to shading. Let's change the colors of uh, this. Okay, so this one is brighter. So let's go brighter. Uh, let's go yellower. Let's saturate it. Okay, those are lighter. We can see that. And the darker, let's go darker. Minus, minus, less saturated, less value. Uh, you know what? Maybe saturation not so low. Okay, but okay, okay, okay. Let's go really darker and no, that's too much. Don't be too crazy there. Let's go back at something a bit more. Okay, let's show the plane. That's the ground. Okay, now the ground, I don't like it. It's too... Okay, you know what? I'm going to make the ground smaller because I'm going to put an image just to fit it. Under 20, under 20. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's take... So the marble came out pretty good. We can even make it more metallic. Roughness at 0.1 maybe. Okay. Let's just put a very slight bump map at the vector bump. Color goes in height. Normal goes in normal. Uh, let's put a crazy... Okay, this works. So let's put a... You can see on the darker one. Point 0.1 is going to be good enough. Take this, copy. Let's go to the other marbles. Paste, Control V. Let's put the same mount here. A little bump here and there. Now let's go uh, here, normal here. Okay, that's what we got there. Let's do the same on the floor. So we're going to take just the image and the bump, copy, paste. Let's see if we can find a pretty image for the floor. Um, let's see something different. Let's open. Uh, you know what? I'm going to use this. This is way too strong. I know it's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's make the, the bump stronger. Uh, 
I just make maybe a distance minus one to invert the bump uh, that makes the strength two. And um, let's say roughness lower, metallic at one. Oh, that's too strong. Dot nine. Dot five again. Okay, that's pretty good for the floor. But we might change it uh, with saturation. Let's saturate it. It's too pinkish and way darker. Maybe dot five. Maybe. Is that good? That's okay. We've seen better. Okay, uh, on the gold, the gold, the gold. Sometimes I, I put some bump on the gold. So let's go there. Let's mm, wait. Do, do, this. No, wait, these guys. Ah. Oh, man. <laughs> I just erased the bump. I don't know why. Okay, there it is. Anyway, where's well? Anyway, it went away. Who knows why? Let's put the bump back here. Eight normal. Let's put that direction. Let's put roughness at zero, really. And let's put this lighter, I guess. Very slight. Oh, that's nicer. That's way nicer. Let's put it in 98. I love it darker like that with the backlight. That's really nice. That's really nice. So I was saying some bump on the metal. So uh, let's take image. This guy, control C, control V. Come on, dude. Okay, there he is. Now the bump, the normal is going to add up with the bevel. Uh, we can see, can we see something already? Okay. Let's put it very light, like dot O2. Almost nothing. Put roughness at zero then. So the bump makes the, the roughness by itself. Okay, that's that's nice. It's a bit too strong even. And uh, some scratches. Let's find some scratches here. Where are you there? Okay, I don't I don't have any UV map on on the ring or this. What we can do is just use the generated uh, coordinates uh, and sometimes put the box with the blend at one that's uh, pretty nice that's not so nice there but that's okay at the normal distance that's okay or sometimes let's put a mapping vector there and uh, put two two and two And rotate the guy, that's 45 degrees. We make some weird reflection here and there, but... Uh, okay, okay. At some distance, looks pretty cool. Now, what I might change is I don't like this color anymore. Let's try a peridot, peridot, which is uh, like yellowish lemon green olive would be that a bit a bit more here would be something like this it's a bit nicer but i don't like it with the tone of the marble so let's try more ruby like Okay, this I like quite much. Just change the IOR to 182. That's very good. Just don't like this really, really. Okay, that's pretty nice. 
The only thing I don't like is the bump map on the ring, especially on the inside. Okay, these guys. So what we're I'm going to take all the gold parts. Okay, here. On this guy, I need to remove the separates. I'm just going to separate all that's gold. Okay, this object is heavy. It's like several million facets. That's why it's a bit slow on this guy. It's not even that slow. Okay, let's make Alt A select. It's easier to take out the diamonds. P selection. Okay. I'm going to to make a UV map for the gold elements to improve a bit the mapping of the of the bump for the gold because it does make it look better. So we're going to all right. So this wait okay. The most important one is that guy, that guy, this, this, okay, that guy doesn't even have a, okay, I'll see, control J, okay, it's joining the parts, obviously, we're going to make it smooth shading, on the stones, don't use the smooth shading. That would be funny, but doesn't look good. All right, now let's go to UV editing. It's going to be a bit slower just because of those crosses that makes just several million faces. It's not so slow, but let's be patient as always. We're almost done. So. We're making history here because this is the first video officially in English. I'm starting the series. Many people asked for uh, modeling tutorials for jewelry using Blender. So here we are. I hope you really liked it, liked it and enjoyed it. But anyway, we're not done. So control, no, just A, please. Okay, so here, let's select everybody, A. Eh? Now let's just use a cube projection. It's, it's the fastest one for these kind of objects. Poof, 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 done. And generally looks, looks good. The joints, all that, generally. Sometimes, obviously, it gets harder, but we're jewelers. So that's when things uh, start to be Okay, anyway, let's go to shading and let's check that it worked. I won't make the render in the video, it's still useless. I, I mean, I won't run the render. I obviously, I will publi publish the render to promote the video and the tutorial. And like I was saying, I hope you really enjoyed this video. This is the first one. The channel has been growing and growing and growing. So that's why I'm starting to make it in English. Okay, this guy I can remove here. I'm going to add input UV map. Uh, let's go directly. Let's put this one there. I think you remove the mapping now. Okay. So it's going to use it anyway. That's when you have several UV maps. You need to you need to use the the UV map node to to choose between different UV maps, which happens sometimes. Okay, it looks better already. We don't have those weird uh, f uh, lines there. I'm going to change that the bump is too strong. So I'm going to make it at 002. Uh, I just have, let's see, let me remove it. Okay, so that doesn't, that's funny. On the sides, it comes from the ground. So it means that the ground is too strong. Let's, let's go at O2. It's a reflection from the sides. That's funny. Okay, so let's plug back the bump map on the gold node. 
well, the level no. Let's go back at 05, I guess. Uh, let's go at 2. Let me see. So, okay, I need to put it flat or it doesn't work with the with the UV map. Mm, let's go with that one. Okay. Is it good enough? Okay, it's on the sides. Ah, dude, on radius. <laughs> what a mistake. The same thing. This doesn't look better. This looks weird. Come on, let's plug it normal to normal, please. Okay, so let's go. That one I was saying this is too strong. Now okay, now it's starting to look good. All right, that's what we what we, yeah that's what we wanted. A nice render. Uh, the floor, this guy, but that's the reflection. So let's make it rougher. Dot one. That's pretty good. Okay, that's a nice looking render. Uh, not too fancy. We can make it a bit more photorealistic, but I would take a bit more time uh, for tweakings. And we really we don't care in this video. We just don't care. Okay. So I hope you really like this video. I hope you subscribe. I hope you hit the like button, the notification thingy. My name is Damien Rohrbach. Check out the websites. It's really easy to find me on the internet. Okay, so this was the first video. In the next video, I will be starting from scratch, I guess. Just making a very simple ring. Uh, this was done to, to show uh, something. I mean, I, I've done uh, things way more complicated this one um i think it came out pretty the concept was the cross and the the marble i wanted to have and the stone on, on the side and uh well that's it uh, for this design all right okay so um in english it's uh blessed and delightful jewelry community See you all very soon. Take care. Stay home. Stay safe. Have fun. Work hard. Party hard. Bye.